okay, okay, okay. Take your and you're also looking a little rough. You can do it once more. So just so you can survive, do it on yourself. Take you. Lovely. I know I can use her arcane recovery. Oh no, he had arcane recovery, sorry. You don't. What do you have? Ah, yes, we could have been using Blessing of the Trickster. Ah, I forgot about your um duplicity as well. Shit, I should have been using that this entire time. I'm such an idiot. Uh, you can go back into the party, dear. Now, tough. Let's go loot and be wary of everything in the vicinity. Uh, it's worth money. I'm so reluctant to leave things when they're worth stuff. Uh, do I want to save that? Yeah, I do. Let's quick save. Mm, it's more lava. Bench, candelabra. Nothing especially awesome. There's a vase there. We can loot that. No, apparently we can't. Ancient scroll. A mouldering scroll containing what remains of an ancient ritual. So what happens if I were just to use that? It's an action. Read. What does it do? Though a bloom of mold has leached the ink from most of this scroll, its beginning is still legible. The ceiling ritual. Our god cares not for petty ritual. There is only the ceiling, and it is vital that we observe it with exacting reverence. On the day of the ceiling, a mixture of bone and ash is consecrated. Upon the names of the dead, we spread the offering, imbuing the ink with the essence of death of our god. Is it something we actually use, or...? No? Can I figure out what this does? No? I examine, actually. Examine. Would that do it? Examine. Doesn't say. That's nice. Sorry, Torga and Mari. Just gonna keep taking everything you have because I'm sure I'll be able to sell it eventually. I shit. Don't know how long eventually is. Uh does encumbrance work in this game? Probably. So everybody start encumbering up. Such a looter. God. So many bows as well. Did I reread that? Yes. Oh, some simple robes. Oh, they'll be the same as what Gail's wearing, I'm sure. I don't really know what this food does, so I'm just passing it on. I'm sure I should probably Google what food does. I'm sure it's vastly important. All right. Was that flammable? I have a feeling that was flammable. Oh gee, there's a door here. Oh my. Oh my. Alright. I feel like I've missed some bodies. Oh god, there are two like massively in the doorway that I didn't even see. Ooh. And Zephy. Scroll of animal friendship. Prerequisite. Charm a beast and convince it that you mean no harm. The beast cannot have an intelligence of four or higher. The spell ends if you or one of your companions harms the beast. I guess. So, who can wear this? Oh, where'd it go? Am I just blind? Where did the heavy armor go? We picked it up, didn't we? I see. Okay, cool. Just because you can't wear it doesn't mean you're not taking it. Apparently it does. The fuck? Who here can wear it? What are you wearing? Medium armor. I'm gonna assume you can take it. I 
seed. Loot. Take. No proficiency in heavy armor. Still can't take it. No one wants to loot it. Okay, you can loot it. Which is more than I can say for her. Jesus. Oh, it has 18 weight. That's why? Why couldn't the game just tell me that? God, I'm the pleb with only 40 carry weight. I think that's because of my con. Okay, that's everybody looted now. So we've got multiple rooms. God, I don't trust half the stuff in these rooms. Off, and then we have this main chamber down the end. Cool. Well, that all looks self-contained. So it looks like new save. Post battle below cathedral. I'm going to get these stupid names, but at least I know what that means. All right. Start with this one. No traps. No thank you. Beds, stools. Congratulations, you look dead. Row of books. Nope. Broken cupboard. Okay, doesn't look like there's anything over there. Shabby wardrobe. More piles of books. Looks like there's literally nothing here. Hmm. Well, that was disappointing. Oh. No lock, no hand. How does it open? Uh, someone has a key. Don't think it's for this door, but Gail has a key. Open locked. No, key's not for that. No lock, no handle. How about your lockpick? How does it open? No lock, no handle. How does it open? Ah, uh, okay, you're repeating each other. Can we examine it? Can we kill it? How much health do you have again? Doesn't have much health. Can we just kill it? Can you at least face it when you attack it? What happens if it wrecks the door and we can't get in? What if it like physically blocks the space? I did it! I don't know if that's good or not, but I did it. Well, why do we have nobody checking for traps? Okay, we're making the place really pretty. Oh, there is a door here. Oh, shit. Okay, well, we'll come back. Let's finish this end chamber first. Remember that there's a door there. Alright. Upon entry, nothing much. There are bookshelves. No books within. Import row of books. I feel like looking at these books is really just time wasting. I'm not getting anything from it. Really? If I don't get a single book from any of this, I'm going to stop looking at bookshelves. No, okay, we're done. The Unclaimed. Read. In her, uh, in life, her service had been impeccable. Daily she did devote herself to the Lady of Loss. Daily did she free herself from the tyranny of memory. All in time was lost to her. Her relations, her preferences, even her own name. Upon the altar of her devotion placed she... Placed she the ultimate offering. Right, we're doing strange grammar. Her emptied mind. And when she died... When she awoke in death and found herself standing in the pale and faded city of judgment, she waited for the Lady of Loss to retrieve her. A million souls and more passed her in colourless gusts, but no hand materialised in her hand, no voice whispered instruction in her ear, no guidance proffered itself from the bleached and barren sky. Time, immaterial time, passed around her like air, coming and going, and still the goddess did not come for her devotee. Kalimvor pitied her, as much as the Lord of the Dead is able, but it could not intervene. This cleric of the Lady of Loss, unclaimed despite her worthiness, might yet have one more lesson to learn. That not of forgetting, but being forgotten. That is so 
freaking depressing. I don't want to read that shit. God damn. Pluck. You do not recognize the language on the side. Surprise, surprise. Oopsies. My apologies. Take. Chapel records. Fine dust coats the pages of his weathered book. Beneath the bone white powder, hundreds of short obituaries are recorded in tiny script. Sorry, this is really distracting. Groby and Tipple, Ilmata, Drowning, Yvane Arkinson, Oga Ogma, Internal Rot, De Devrin Stout, Saloon, Fever. Okay. What are they trying to do here? That's curious. What's curious? The lever. I wonder what that did. Fuck if I know. What did it do? <laughs> did anybody notice what that shit did? Would that have opened the door that I smashed down? I have absolutely no idea what that actually did. Ah, uh, yeah. Oh well. I guess we just peace out. Because I honestly have no idea what that just did. Well, this has been a little underwhelming. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be honest with you. Right. Before we go through that door, we really need to have a short rest. Uh, this seems like a great place to have a short rest. That is so effective. I like it. Right. On eight door. We're built for the living. Oh my. Okay, 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 okay. There is a door that way. Heavy oak doors, in fact. Nothing that way. And there is more heavy oak doors this way. Oh, this sounds massive. Is that where I was? Okay. We're all gonna die. Scroll of silence, scroll of lightning bolt. You know what? Can you take that? I don't want it. Sure. On death and resurrection. Where's this book? There. An excerpt from the ongoing Metatext. Rebound. Sorry, Metatext Rebound. By Yosefa Elgin. Elgin? Elgin? A scholar excommunicated from the Church of Denir. For heretical efforts to reconstruct the metatext, her god's annal of lost and hidden knowledge. For to value a life, far too esoteric a topic to warrant any serious critical consideration between these pages, surely. Or so it would seem at first glance. But once we push aside the mysticism and dewy-eyed sentiment so often clouding our assessment, it is clear that across all the spinning planes, each and every life does indeed have a quantifiable value. It is simply that we not all equally value. Yeah, I'm just, you know, sw sort some words around. Consider, we already know that the destruction of a material form is not the end. If anything, our souls are more free after death, transcending planar barriers in search of a resting place that best befits our deeds, beliefs, and station in life. But even this assessment is subject to market forces. Lord Kelimvor weighing our souls against how thoroughly we have given them over to other gods, empowering them in turn. There is, of course, an alternate route, not to the end of the path, but the chance to retread it. Necromancy? Or I suppose clerical necromancy. <laughs> Clerics across the realms wield the power to return to life to any soul deemed worthy or willing enough. It is strange then that these so frequently intersect with those deemed wealthy enough for the components for such a spell are beyond the means of most mortals. True fact. Revivify and resurrection all that shit. Hella expensive. I have interviewed those who have made such a return. Wait, can I eventually do this with my party if I lose one of them? Eugh, better save that gold for some diamonds. I have interviewed those who have made such a return, and in truth, I found them to be of the most dull and unimaginative sort that I cannot possibly imagine what it is they were so eager to return to. If a true assessment of the journey is to be made, then there is simply no replacement for embarking upon it oneself. Are you mad? Perhaps one day this great volume of learning will make me worthy enough to walk that path and wealthy enough to return. Oh man, I wish you luck on that escapade. Holy hell. 
Yeah, whatever. Got, got value. Not that I've ever found a bloody vendor in this place. I mean, I haven't exactly gone far, to be fair. So I can't uh, blame the game for that. Left or right? Let's go left. Seems, seems to intersect with what's up top. Looks like we're going to the caverns that I've... Oh, this is what I found underneath earlier. Yes, the caverns. So we could have uh, approached from this direction alternatively. And then... Uh, don't really know what that gets me. I'm not entirely certain. And then... This goes... Into more depths. Ah, crypt! That means bad things are happening. I hope you've got your um, turn on dead ready because we're going to need it. Is there a plaque here? Nope. Armed scribes. Entombed scribes. But no sign of a struggle. I wonder what was so subversive about their words that they commanded protection. Indeed. All good thoughts. Killed a chest. Oh, minimal value, you can stay. And that leads up immediately with that path we had before. Loot this gentleman, please. Not much value, so I'll pass on that, thank you. I'm just gonna jump down, okay. Let's jurgle. Scribe of the dead. Don't thank God you said that, because I had no clue. Description is in a language unknown Why is everything to unknown to me? Am I just dumb? Ooh, how do I get to this space? I can see it exists. So how do I get to it? Ah, uh, ah. Uh. This is where I want to go. Can't reach, no shit. Can I attack the wall? It's kind of meta knowledge though, isn't it? Hmm, I really want to go there. But I'm not quite sure how to get there. Silence. A heavy key. Store Adam. I don't think there's a way up to get up top at all. Uh, why is it holding uh, hiding behind a candelabrum? Oh yes, please. And this seems like the dangerous room. Looks like someone wanted to bury their secrets. Is everybody ready? We're about to die. Nope, we're fine. Never mind. I was expecting to be destroyed by heaps of undead. Use jump to reach. Yeah, I know that, but I just thought she could do it of her own volition. Path is interrupted. Oh, I can't actually go this way. Oh, I thought I could. I guess it doesn't lead anywhere. Huh. Huh. We're kind of at a dead end then. I don't know how to get to this back room. Unless I, I don't know how to get up here, if such is even possible. I feel like I'm just like smushing through the walls right now. But it looks like there's a walk space. Just, how does one enter it? No! 
don't, don't, don't. I'm trying to, trying to read the walls here. Okay. How does one get on top of this wall? Okay, that wall doesn't look practical at all. What about up here? No. I don't know a way to get up there. I guess I'm just doomed to disappointment. Because I cannot get to you, sir. You can't perceive anything while you're in here? Perceive that there's a room in here? That's curious. Aha! Button! Yes! Buttons! <gasps> How many bodies are there in this vicinity? Holy shit. Hells. Something just woke up down here. Yeah, uh, this is Let actually quite come. safe. Come back the in here. This can be to our advantage. Oh, we have so many dudes alive. Okay, three, but whatever. Where is this dude at? Okay, so what would it take for you to sacred flame him? Intended. Is it gonna? That was a bad idea. They're gonna have high wisdom. Uh, if you could just go a little further ahead of the back. Thanks. Oh god, there's five of them. We're so dead. I also don't think I can finish this battle because I actually have to get off. Holy shit! Bruh! Where have you been all my life? <laughs> Ow. Three damage, but it's a miss. You must be joking. Yeah, I knew I should have gone for him. Can you please engage in conflict with him? Yeah, okay, this seems dumb. It seems like they're gonna make their saving throw regardless, so that was stupid. Oh, he's melee. No, he's not. Definitely not melee. He just put somebody to sleep, but I can't see. Oh? Jeez, Gale's uh, taking some damage. Come, dear. Please be of use to everybody. Oh shit, close guy, close guy. Really? Ugh, must be behind the bushes. Okay, go back now. Can I use your witch bolt that you're currently focusing on? How do I say you're concentrating on this spell? Can you please use it? I don't want to use another spell slot. He's focusing on this though. Oh, it only works on the same dude. Okay, it took me that long to make that correlation. I'm such an idiot. Okay, well, sure. You can just range attack this dude. Because you can't. Yes, you can. I can't see what's going on over there. God damn it. Why do I have to scroll through this? Why can't it? Okay, they both made their saving throws. Well, shit. Oh, wait. Dude right in front. Yeah. Is that fucker still alive? Sweet baby Jesus. He's got a lot of health. They've all got a lot of health. Okay, no they don't. He's just the tankiest of the lot. Well, shit. Oh, what am I doing? I should use a snake. Oh, shit. Why me? Meanie. Oh yes, 16 damage. Beautiful. I don't really have much else you can do. Goodbye, Gale. Ah, magic missile. That's unfortunate. Oh shit. It's got two HP left. That is so not good. Uh, are you actually asleep? You are sleeping, one turn remaining. Well, I guess you can't do anything, can you? Actually, can you please attack? Oh, you can't. Okay, you're gonna have to do this, dude. Actually, can you step... 
Can you disengage to heal? And then shoot him? I'm still only 65%. Critical hit! Thank god for that. Wait, bird! Can you use your turn already? I don't know if it matters if you blind these guys, but you know, whatever. Uh, whose turn is it? It's Gale's. No, it's not. He's still asleep. Okay. I need you to... Oh, that's right. Because I thought I was going to long rest, but I didn't end up long resting. I will get you to move, because I wouldn't like to bludgeon these guys if I can. On my next turn. I'm into sleeping, sucker. Oh shit. Hey! Nice work, Shadowheart. One... One HP? You're joking. Just get him off the field if you can. Sometimes I wonder why I bring you. Thank you. Kill a bitch. Yay! We really need a long rest now. Okay. We need to save because I actually need to get off. Hard save. And uh, next time we will quickly speak to Shadowheart. Because she clearly has something to say. New save. Uh, after crypt, crypt battle success. Boom. Dank crypt. I should have called it the dank crypt because that's what it's called, but whatever. Time to get into some Baldur's Gate 3 again. Difficulty classic. I didn't even know you could change the difficulty, so that's interesting. But we shall continue with my crypt battle success, which is what I called the save file, if you recall. Oh my gosh, uh, Shadowheart has tattoos. I've not noticed that. To be fair, I haven't really seen much of her arm. I'll have to check it out. We still don't have him in the party. I should probably work on that. Actually, aren't we still short somebody? We've got three members and there's five of them. Right? Oh, obviously. Level. Duh. So we need Will, Will, Wild, Will, Will and Level. Alright, oh, that's right. We need to speak to Shadowheart. Oh, that's why I can't see if she's got tattoos. She's wearing sleeves. That's why. Uh, and we need to have a long rest at some point, don't we? So let's just chat to her. Rising from the dead just to protect some dusty baubles. Fools. I love just the just shade. She's so awesome. I love that metal in her hair. Uh, couldn't agree more. Besides, what used to the dead have of possessions? They only attacked after we desecrated a tomb. We should have left this place untouched. True. But I don't really want to get on her bad side uh, still Please I thought so save your regrets. this place isn't worthy of them. yeah let's move maybe I should have been on support of her as opposed to doing the logical response so is it literally nothing else in this joint did we already loot everything in here I don't remember I think we did a lot of effort to hide one side. Oh no, we didn't. The Amulet of Lost Voices, a very rare amulet. The dead hold no secrets from Jurgle's Scriveners? Scriveners? <laughs> of Doom. The wearer of this item gains a level 3 speak with dead spell. Do they have to have access to level 3 spells in order to do that? I don't know, we'll take all. And then we'll give that to you. Equip. And then. Once per long rest, she can speak with the dead. <laughs> I love that I gave it to Shadowheart. She's going to hate that. It's going to be great. Uh, okay, so that was the heavy chest. You said to save us, uh, to protect a sarcophagus. Is there actually... Oh, there. That's right. Let's go further desecrate the dead, shall we? Why do you look so confused? Love it how the hands are nowhere near it. We've got no sound effects for that whatsoever.
Hello? Who are you, and can I please get away with not fighting you? So he has spoken, and so thou standest before me, right as always. Could you please- What a curious way to awaken. Explain what you now, mean? Now, I have a question for thee. What is the worth of a single mortal's life? G quite the question. What's the reason for it? I mean, that's what I would like to ask. So he has spoken. What here are you talking about? A little spooked by the crawling out of the tomb bit. What are you? A peaceful undead and interesting. Why aren't you attacking me? Um, these are all very good options indeed. Curiosity. Nothing more. I'm in favour of curiosity. Wilt I'm full of it to myself. My question? Uh, I shall, if you give me options. Yes, ask away. Uh, yeah, no, go for it. So, I ask again. What is the worth of a single mortal life? I don't know, it depends on my options. No one life is worth more than any other. We are all equal. That depends on a person's deeds. Life's only value is as currency. Doesn't matter to me otherwise. Each life is of infinite value and merits sacrificing everything for. The only life that matters is mine, depends on the mortal. Uh, I'd like to go for either the first one, we're all equal. Don't know if he's going to like that answer. Um, or four, each life is of infinite value and merits sacrificing everything for. Unless this is the dude from the book who wanted to sacrifice himself. Was that a chick? I don't know. And then be brought back. Hmm. And four. thus, balance is achieved. Went for number four, the sacrifice. If all are at war, none can win. Very well. I am satisfied. Thank God for that. We have met, and I know thy face. Oh, what relevance is this, sir? We will see each other again will at we? the proper time and place. Farewell. Have I just brought about my own demise by freeing this gentleman? Hooded skeleton, level two, because I'm level two, and he just walks out. Okay. Bloodstone and gold. So that's all we got out of this joint. Okay, what are we doing now? Explore the ruins. Oh, we've completed it. The hooded figure said he would see us again soon. He was probably the ruins' greatest secret, but there's no harm in checking for more valuables. There's really nothing else here. A strange hooded figure emerged from one of the sarcophagi we opened. It seems like it has something to say. Okay, so the ruins are done. We still haven't figured out this parasite. Can we please get rid of the completed quests already? The Wizard of Waterdeep. A wizard named Gale joined the party. <clears throat> he claims to have been on the Nautiloid, which means he's infected too. He does indeed claim it, and we did not see it. But anywho, we are still trying to find a healer. So... <sighs> Let us be on our way. There's nothing left here. Oh, there's a plaque here. What's the plaque say? Here lies the guardian of tombs. Through knowledge comes atonement. I don't really know what that's supposed to mean, but... Alright. 